Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPad. So it doesn't really matter which iPad you guys have. If you have the iPad mini, iPad Air, iPad Pro, regular iPad, same instructions. Let's just go right into your settings. In your settings, your first option will say your device's name or your name. Just make that backup using iCloud. Now, if you don't have more space on your iCloud, don't worry about it. Use iTunes on your computer or Finder on Mac in order to make that backup. Also, if you're having any problems, just use your computer in order to update your iPad. Anyways, let's get started. Go right down into general, right there is general. Then you're gonna see your second option where it says software update. Go ahead. Some of you may see download and install, others just may see install now. And that's because it depends on your settings. Maybe you have your settings to just download the update but not install it, so you have to install it yourself. Others may have it turned off completely like me because I like to see what the update is all about before I do it. Sometimes there's major glitches and you may want to skip that one out. Anyways, for now, what we're going to do is press download and install. Then it's going to ask us for a passcode if you have one. Once we put that in, it's just going to start the downloading progress. Doesn't matter if your iPad turns off during the download progress. Not really. However, if it turns off when you are installing it, then that's a problem. Now remember, this update's pretty small, so it's going to run in just a few minutes. Uh, it should not take overall downloading installation no more than 10 minutes. Now with older iPads, sure, it could take a little bit longer. And if you got really, really slow internet, sure. Again, it could take longer than that. But for most of you, you're not looking at more than 10 minutes overall. Now make sure to have at least 50% of your battery if you don't just hook it up to some electricity. Even if you have 90% of your battery, I still recommend to hook it up to some electricity because most iPads, by the time, they do wear out their battery. So maybe they don't last as long. And you do not want your iPad to run out of battery when it's installing the update. So just make sure to have it hooked up some electricity while you're doing this and just let it be. We're going to see an Apple logo later on, a loading bar after it restarts, and that's it. We're going to be done with this update. So after three to five minutes, it should have downloaded already, and we can go ahead and press install now. Then it's going to ask us for our passcode. We'll just put that in. Once we're done that, it's just going to restart. We're going to see an Apple logo and a loading bar. Around 10 minutes or so, it should be done. You would see that Apple logo loading bar just the one time. Then we can just go and check in settings if everything went okay. So go into software update again, and you should see that it should say up to date. And yes, so at this point in time, we are all done. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.